Hello there everybody, my name is Chris Shadogs the Board Book Built for Theme Park News and welcome to a construction theme park news and update from the construction of Vertica at La Recre de Tuacones. Uh, the Gersla Eurofighter set to open this year in 2020 and we have some news on the trains. So before we get started, make sure you like, comment, subscribe and click the notification bell so you never miss a YouTube video. Please share with your friends, family and on social media and make sure you get your questions in using the hashtag question before or after your question for the 1,500 subscriber Q&A. And for now guys, let's get into this video. So we're going to be sharing with you the trains. It's not the biggest update in the world today uh, from Vatika. Uh, however, we do have news on those trains and we're going to share with you uh, my thoughts on the trains as well now that they've arrived. So on your screen right now, Fan Dabby Dorsey, those are the trains. For those of you who need some stats on this ride and you have no idea about this ride uh, in the first place, uh, this is a custom Gerslai Eurofighter. Um, we've covered it ever since last year. Ever since, I think, end of 2018, start of 2019, when we first did that video about the record de Tokyo's adding a 5 million euro roller coaster in 2020. For when we got that news, uh, and I sort of wanted to sort of uh, cover it from there. And of course, we followed the teasing process and the construction process every step of the way. Uh, so, this custom Eurofighter by Gersla has a length of 1,443.6 feet, a height of 88.6 feet, a speed of 49.7 miles per hour, two inversions, a loop and a corkscrew, and of course, like I said, it costs 5 million euros, with a vertical angle of 91 degrees. Now then, you guys are probably wondering... Where's the trains? Well, it's already on your screen, actually. Uh, <laughs> uh, but you can see already, um, I like the logo, first of all. I like the logo. It's very medieval with the sort of sword as the eye. Um, you know, I think that this is a, a good um, uh, move uh, for the parts to go with that kind of medieval look. Uh, the shield at the side of the car. Uh, the little, I think it's like a Celtic symbol, I think, uh, that's sort of on the far right next to the logo. Uh, now you're probably thinking, why over the shoulder restraints? Why, why over the shoulder? Now I've heard from a forum that the director of the part wanted lap bars on it, but he wasn't able to convince associates that went with over the shoulder restraints. Uh, but that is apparently the only reason. Now we don't know if that's confirmed or not. I've just heard it on a forum. Not confirmed either way, but if that's true then, you know, I guess we'll have to take it. So, uh, the trains on it look brilliant, as you can already see. Um, now, the only reason why Shell Razor, as an example, uh, over at the new Nickelodeon and Universe in New Jersey, has over-the-shoulder restraints, because there isn't enough room under the train to fit the launch magnets, lift hill mechanisms, and hydraulic cylinders for the restraints. Uh, so that's their reason, but... Uh, this was just a convincing game, so this one has over the shoulder restraints because they couldn't convince them, which, which is just, again not confirmed either way because I heard it on a forum. But you know, this is you know, it's it's definitely um, definitely an interesting theory. Uh, but as you saw from the trains there on the on the sort of template track, uh, it does look fantastic, doesn't it? Um, I think this is going to be a brilliant looking coaster when it's finished. Uh, and when the construction's all done and dusted and testing set to begin and you know when that's all started and um, obviously the opening dates obviously we'll get that as soon as possible but I think for this coaster I think this is going to be a brilliant looking project I think the coaster is going to be uh, swell I think that the park are going to have themselves a winner with this project and I think that uh, Vatika is definitely an underrated coaster for Europe this year so thank you very much for watching this construction update on Vatika at the Recre de Tuacures. Uh, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and click the notification bell so you YouTube video. And for now, guys, keep it on the coast life, and I'll see you guys in the next video very, very soon. Take care, guys. Have a nice day.